welcome back to my channel how are you all doing today um yes if you're new here welcome thank you so much for stopping by here on this channel i do cash stuffings savings challenges and all things budgeting if you are returning thank you so much for coming back so today i'm going to be on stuffing my wallet i want to stuff it for the week and this is i think the third or fourth on stuffing i'm not quite sure i think it's a third. so yes so i'm gonna do a couple of challenges as well if you hear some things in the background if the space eater i am recording from the guest room my guest room is not in the main building i mean even the main building but it's not it's uh, outside of the rest the many of the house so actually we ain't we converted one part of our garage to a room which we use as a guest room it's a fourth room in my house so we have a separate cooling and eating unit in this room but it broke so it's super cold in here so i have to use a space heater and i've turned it on for like an hour and it's still cold in here because it's freezing outside so i'm gonna record it real quick and go back to my room I have some receipts here I need to scan to fetch. How is everybody doing today? Groceries, so we do you have some money left? Yes. Gas is empty. I did not stuff it anyway, so yeah. And then dining out has two dollars left. My personal money. I think I used five dollars out of it. And then miscellaneous, I didn't spend it. So this is what I have left over. I think I am going to stuff the wallet first. So yes, last time I forgot to take the one dollar bills out because, like I said, I have been collecting the one dollar bills. Uh, yes, so I forgot to get them out. So now I have 20, 30, 35, 40 dollars remaining for this week. But I am going to use some of it to do some savings challenges, so I, I will leave it out here, so I don't mix them up. Yeah. So, here is what I need to restock back into my wallet. So I have 100, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. 270 dollars. So what is going to go back into my wallet for the week? Uh, let me do that real quick before we go into the savings challenges. So groceries, I'm going to put 220 for the week. Gas, I'm still not going to stop. I still have gas in all three cars, so I don't have to stop it. Dining out, will be getting $30. Personal is going to get 10 And then so then as we get the last ten dollar bill oh yes i almost forgot to empty my coins my coin pouch it's not very much to this week so i'm i'm not sure what happened but we don't have very much so it goes in here my wallet is good to go for the week so I'm gonna start with my letter box um, so let's see what we have I have D box F box Wow they are all mostly D box so I have D F and G so I, I don't have any a box yet I haven't gotten in so the, here is my D box envelope and each letter D icon is one dollar so let's see how much we have we have one two three and four we have four dollars we have four dollar D box I'm trying to find a deeper green color, but this is not deep. 
it's not deep at all but i'll use it just like so so i'm gonna go ahead and color in four letter d's there you go i wish i have a deeper green color i don't know why there's no deep green that's too light and it's, it doesn't even look like green anyways so let's see how much we have yeah for now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve dollars so far i think it's gonna be thirty dollars when it's all done yes thirty dollars for each tracker so when i finish each tracker i will be putting this money into a sinking fund i have not assigned sinking funds to these letters yet but i'm going to do that i just need to sit down and determine where each letter box is going to go in my sinking fund next is the f box and we have only one today f box or d box is from richmond virginia and, and f box is from atlanta atlanta so we have only one d box today i mean sorry we have only one f buck today i don't know why i keep saying d box d box d box so f box we have one two three four five six seven eight dollars so far eight dollars so far I, I wonder when i'm going to be able to get a c box well a box is what i've never i haven't gotten any and there's another one i've only gotten one c box i have not i've only got one h no eyes i don't have any eye yes and the last one we have here is a g box and we have only one and G box is from Chicago. So in G box, I have a two the two dollar bill because I got this from Kathy of Kathy's Cash and Coin. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars so far. So that's going to be it for my letter box binder. Next up, so yeah, we have some money here that we can put in our savings challenges. I hope this is, this was in frame. So we're going to start with this one that I got from Ellie of Ellie on Earth. This was when she, when she reached 700 subscribers. She is now very close to 1K. I haven't checked lately to see if she already made it, but I think she was super close the last time I checked. But this was when she was at 700. And I have... I have the 900 subscriber one. I believe it's I believe it's 900. I think it's 900 or 800. I think it's the 900 subscriber. I believe it's 900. So this is what she put out. As a freebie for the 900 subscribers or 800 i'm not so sure right now because it's not written on it but yes i'm gonna start this in february so today we only need 12 dollars to complete this challenge and i'm super excited and let me see if i have one dollar bills here because i don't have one of those out here and i don't want to uh, no, that's the Valentine one. Oh, I almost forgot about it. I have to do it too. So there's no one dollar bills, and I need twelve dollars ten. Guys, I'm gonna look somewhere. We could. I, I'm gonna change some. I'm gonna get some change from the chore envelope. This is the envelope that I get chore money from for the kids. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah can do that 
so we need 12 dollars to complete this challenge today super excited and this is where i'm keeping them and i am not sure what i'm gonna do with this money yet maybe sinking funds i don't know i have to sit and think about it what to put it so let me go ahead and check this off and then three six nine and twelve we are officially done with this challenge so let's see how much we saved up in this challenge so one of the other part is a roll a die one so you really can't tell how much this is going to be until you finish it so so far in this challenge i have 20 40 50 60 70 71 72 dollars wow this took me like two months to finish because i didn't put my mind to it so yeah that's why 72 dollars we are done i'm just gonna set this aside well let me put it back in here and i have to think about what to use the 70 dollars for next up i'm going to i'm probably gonna use all this money today oh yes i better not forget this one this one i got from d plans and budgets this is a freebie it was a all year worth of savings challenges that she's giving out as a freebie so this is january february march april up to december i did not get it on t on time so i'm done with regular saving challenges for this month so next month in february i'm probably gonna do both january and february yeah so i cannot forget this because this is a group challenge that um ellie put out and i am fortunate to be one of them that received today so and we've been playing this every week so today i'm gonna go ahead and scratch let me roll a die to see which well there's only four there so yeah let me roll a die to see which one i need to scratch two so one two and it's a seven dollar so this week i scratched seven and i'm going to be saving seven dollars in this group challenge so tomorrow when i watch ellie's video i'm going to let her know how much i saved this week so so far in this challenge i have five ten fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen dollars I'm guessing it's going to be around $25, $30 when it's done. So I have $21 left here. So I'm, I think I'm just going to go ahead. Because I was trying to finish this challenge this month. Oh. I'm trying to finish this page so I can start afresh on this page in February. So I'm going to go ahead and scratch one. And see. And put it and save it for today. So I have five dollars and I'm really really tempted to do another one but no I'm not gonna do another one so I see five dollars and I'm gonna go ahead and find let me find the envelope I believe it's gonna be um, it's in here so let me see i need five dollars so i don't have a five out here let's see what we have in here oh so we have a 15 which is perfect so i'm just going to put a 20 and put a 15 back so this page so far we have 20 40 60 80 1 100 and 1 and this is from marlene of snow gardener 307 I don't know how long this is book gonna take this book is gonna take me probably a whole year I don't know I'm not gonna rush I'm just gonna take it easy with myself and do what I can do so next week when I do my stuffing again I'm gonna scratch another one hopefully we're able to finish this page by the end of January
and this whole book is going to be going to my sinking funds i've been talking about these sinking funds a lot because i need to focus more on that because i've never been able to put what i want to put in there it's always sinking funds binder is always empty because i use it as soon as i put it in there because there's not a lot in there so i want to focus on my sinking funds this year so yeah and so now i have 16 dollars remaining for my leftover i'm gonna go ahead and put that back into my leftover envelope here and whatever i have in this envelope will be going towards savings challenges in february i'm gonna add it to whatever i have in my budget for savings challenges i'm just gonna have this to it that's how it works for me so whatever i have left over that i've not used throughout the month is going to be going to savings challenges for the following month so thank you so much guys for watching and i will catch you in my next video bye bye